Okay. All right. Are you guys ready? Just remember, if you're talking, it shows up on the video. So. Yeah. Thanks, Tim. Okay. All right. So, open your Premiere project and the montage video. <clears throat> Okay, here you see my montage. A little trick is to use the backslash key and that'll shrink your timeline down so everything fits right there. So you have to be clicked on the screen so the blue box is around the screen, around the window, and then you just click the backslash key and it shrinks right down. Okay, so today we're going to add some graphics. So to do that, you're probably going to be in the editing tab. Go ahead and click the graphics tab. You're going to add a title in this graphics layout. So all you have to do is come over here to edit. Actually, let me show you this first. If on the browse section, there's all these pre-made templates of um, graphics. You could use these if you wanted. And if you want to use those, you can just like say you like this one, you could double click or just click it and drag it over to your timeline like that. And there you can see now I have this title that I can just click on and start editing it. Anyway, I don't want to use the pre-made titles, but I just wanted you to know they're there. I'll do Command Z and undo that. Okay, so if I want to add a title, let's let's say I want to add a title to. Let me find a clip here that. Okay, this this shot right here, I know is an arc shot. So I'm going to add a title that says arc right there. So say I want the title to come in right about here. Um, I can just come up to my text tool and I can click on anywhere on the screen that I want the title. So if I wanted it to show up right there, I can just click on there and start typing arc. There you go. Um, and then over here in the edit tab you have every place you can make changes to this text you just put in there so I could highlight that and I could change the fill color to a different say I wanted it to be black or some other color I could push black and it changes it to black say I wanted it to be this exact color of yellow I could just use my eyedropper Oops, I think I need to click and drag that eyedropper and it would change my text to yellow. So if I deselect, now you can see there's a yellow. I can't see that very well. But let's let's try some things. Let's make it bigger. Um I can make my text bigger. You can also change to have a drop shadow. Um I could change the hmm I guess I already have that selected you could change how much drop shadow you have how transparent it is I like it all the way up oh what do you think of that isn't that pretty special arc okay well you can there's so many things you can change just like any text editor, I mean, you can change the style of text to one of these. Well, what do you know? And not special. Okay. Well, that's the basics of doing a, a title. You can then, you can see it created down here in the timeline. It created like it has a default length if you can change it to be a different length right now it, the arc title goes into my next clip and I don't want that so maybe I would shorten it down and I can drag this anywhere I want anyway that's the basics there's a lot of things you can play with and I'm not going to show you them all so Go ahead and start playing with titles, and you're going to discover things that you had no idea you could do. So that's a wrap.